Good afternoon, everyone. Today we are going to talk about the comparative analysis of the data of the two companies. First of all, as we all know, Sun Eleven is a multinational convenience storage chain group. It was founded in 1927. It was originally located in Dallas, USA, and the company was named Tom Stories. In 1981, it was acquired by a Japanese company and changed its name to Sun Eleven. The main development industry of the eleven for sale and retail. It contains many products, for example, drinks, snacks, daily necessities, and so on. This company also has a slogan, uh, is uh, oh, thank heaven for 7-Eleven. On the other hand, John C. Top, um, Thompson is the founder of this company. As shown on the PowerPoint, these are the, repre these are the representatives of the company. They manage different business, respectively. For details, my partner will describe it. Thank you. We analyze data on liquidity ratios. First of all, according to the current ratio equals 0.63, it shows that the company's short-term solvency is weak and it cannot pay off the company's internal debt in the short term. However, because the company is a supermarket, the current ratio is already normal. The second is the total asset turnover ratio. The company's total asset turnover ratio is 1.40. Uh, in in deep casing, then the company's asset production and sale infancy is relating high. It can be seen that the sudden sea and evidence on the company's asset relation are relatively high. <coughs> We start with the, the analysis of the solvency ratio. First of all, we can see the company's DB ratio is relating high the 92.1 percent. It can be seen that the companies have relatively large production funds and relatively large source of funds. Enterprise have the high levels external capital and can further development and grow. However, the scale of course liability is large. Result in increased long-term liabilities, increased interest expense, and higher corporation risk. It is easy to make ends meeting and become the burden on the business. The company's equity ratio is only 7.9%, which is already very low compared to the debit ratio. It can be seen from this that the companies have a stronger ability to rely long-term debates, and the own financial rating is relatively lower. In reality, then the risk is small, and it belongs to the low risk and low risk framework. Long term, finally, the debit to equity ratios. The company's debit to equity ratio is whopping 11.63. It can be seen that the company has too much debit, which has exceeded the normal debit ratio. Therefore, the company's long term financial situation is not optimistic, and the right and interesting loan capital cannot be guaranteed. Finally, let's analyze the profit rate. <coughs> Uh, from the profit rate data, even among seminars, companies 7-Eleven's profit rate is uh, years uh, relatively low. Although uh, it has not yet reached at the point of loss, it is still not perfectly optimistic. In addition, it, it can be seen from return on total assets that the turnover income is positive, but the volume is relatively small. Comparing its average total income in 2020, we can know that the risk level of 7-Eleven is low, and the income shows a positive growth, but the financial range will not be to be large. In general, ability by the economy in 2020, the financial ability of 7-Eleven will not be a good before, but it will generate stable levels. Although there were some news in individual pros, it was still advancing with positive profit on the world. Uh, has that technology social tension behind the history? The company was imparted under the law of Malaysia on 29 November 25 years as a white limited company under the name of Special Logistics Sanda Bihar, remained to complete logistical service Sanda Bihar on 22 November 26, December 11, 28. The company was transformed into a public limited company and abandoned its current name in August 27. The, the company is listed on the main market of Bursa Malaysia Street behind the uh, main business activities. The company is widely an um, investment holding company. Well, the activities of our substance include the provision of integrated logistical service, including the intention of shipping and land transformation. 
the private customers will do the current one shop solution. Uh, founder is a cool extender being something. Uh, Anra sells, sells travel. Uh, for uh, four two three four eight thousand ringgit. Uh, scientific achievements. Kuala Lumpur has the technology solutions behind it. A uh, new high won the first trading day of twenty twenty three after Daku won the main world appointed group chief activities offer. At the close, the stocker rose sharply by two point seventy eight ringgit or six one. Uh, uh, 30.3% to close at a record high of 90.84 ringgit, giving it a market capitalization of 2055 ringgit. Has the technology solutions behind the uh, 2020 annual pro pro analysis? The correct uh, broad members is Daku Islander B. Sadiq, independent uh, non active chairman, Malaysia male, age uh, 85 years. Uh, Romanda Kong Bongsong, actual de decreter, <coughs> Malaysia male, age 50 year, 15 years. Uh, Daku Islander B. Sadiq, independent and non active activity chairman, uh, Malaysia male, age 1885. Uh, Tan Li Kong. Non department at the non activity director, Malaysia male, age 43 years. Datong Long Chong Yi, independent and uh, non executive director, Malaysia male, age 41 years. Yong Chen Hong, independent and non activity director, Malaysia uh, male, age 17 years. Sun Tian Tai, uh, in department and now actor the director, Malaysia female, age 41 years. Uh, Comment is on the analysis of the financial statement. Uh, we analyze from the grant and retail data. Uh, first, the company's current retail is 5.22, which is a relatively high retail. It shows that the company's short term service is relatively strong and it can pay off the company's internal debates in the short report of time. The second is the total assets total retail. The total retail of the company's total assets is uh, 0 0.52, which is uh, relatively low, which shows that the company's assets uh, under lunch is insufficient and uh, less effective. We start with the uh, analysis of survey 3. Uh, the pandering retail. First, we can see that the company's debate retail is low at 98.1%. Uh, uh, it can be seen that the company has relatively small production from that the relatively small sources of funds. The enterprise has a low level of external potential and uh, cannot foster develop and uh, grow. However, the uh, scale of cost liability is small, resulting in Recredit long term liabilities, low increase expenses, and low complicated risks. It will not make ends meeting and will not become a burden on the enterprise. The company's equity retail is 18.8%. 90, uh, it can be seen that the company has a weak ability to reply long term debates and the owners facing return relatively high including that the risk is relatively larger and it leading to a high risk of a uh, In general, affected by the pandemic in 2020, the company's profitability will be better than before. If we compare 7-Eleven with HTSB, it can be known from the above analyze. In terms of credit ratio, 7-Eleven is far inferior to HTSB. The credit ratio of 7-Eleven is only a poor 0.63, when then the HTSB is as high as 5.22. It can be seen that the short-term servicing of the HTSB is much higher than that of 7-Eleven. Then compare the servicing ratios. Firstly, for the purpose of a ratios, the ratios, 
availability ratios of 7-Eleven is much higher than the HTSP. From the data, we can learn that the long-term financial situation of the HTSP is better than that of 7-Eleven. In general, although 7-Eleven has stronger long-term stability, HTSP has a good long-term financial stability and the stable economic structure without any hidden dangers. Finally, compare the profitability ratios of the two companies. First, we are comparing the profit margin of 7-Eleven and HTSP. Apparently, the profit margin of 7-Eleven is significantly lower than that the HTSP. Therefore, the profitability of the HTSP is better than that of 7-Eleven. The profit margin of 7-Eleven is relatively low, even above similar supermarkets. In generally comparing the above data, it can be seen that the profitability of HTSP is better than 7-Eleven. Accounting cost is a very helpful thing of enterprise. It can show where a company spends its money and how much money it makes or lose. Cost accounting arms and reporting, analyzing and improving inter internal cost control and efficiency of those companies cannot use costing data in financial statement. It is external from internal control. Cost accounting is highly customization and adaptable. Special enterprise can customize the cost accounting method according to the actual situations. And the cost accounting can be adjusted, modified, and executed according to the business chart changes. But it only did the focus on the internal purpose suitable for co corporation management. But there are also disadvantages. The cost accounting system is expensive to learning and error and the accountants and enters may be more expensive. In summary, as an inform informal flexible tools, cost accounting arms to involute as a different cost of the business and how they affect operation cost efficiency and profits. Companies managers can use the explain the operating condition of the enterprise.